And now it's time to move from all countries screen to country screen. So we just have a simple hello and what I want when I click on this hello, I need to move to this country. So first thing first, let's give some padding here and to give a padding on the container. So container only have this padding. This text doesn't have this padding property. So container uh, having padding and padding is giving all side top bottom left right of 10. So we have some margin here and now this text let's style this text. So styling the text which will have a text style widget everything is a widget. So here I can simply say font size is uh, let's say 18 and let's save this file and see yep so we have the hello here and how we can click this hello and move to next uh, screen so what i can do i can move this text inside a new widget which i call raised button and every raised button has a on press event or on press function which is giving print of hello i'm printing anything whenever i click hello so you can see we have a button inside button we have a text so if i click here you can see here hello we have but what if i want to move i want to navigate to another page okay so that's why we have a navigation or navigator actually navigator dot push so you can simply say dot push or you can say navigator dot off context dot push and now we need to push to a route a route is a material app route or material route you can search so material page route actually and this function is having a build property firstly which is going to get the context and inside that if i give comma here now i can say i want to go to country this is the screen i want to go yeah we have this and let's give comma here or actually semicolon so we have this and now if I go here and click on hello, you can see I'm on a next screen. But the point is you can have a simple back arrow button, which is by default we get from scaffolding or app bar. So if I click and you can see we are back to the all countries screen. So hello and back. But we, we can make this uh, beautiful. So why not use arrow function by using this arrow function we can remove two line and that's cool so still it's going to work yeah that's good but instead of uh, giving this raised button i can give another thing which is i can replace with uh, children and now i can have let's move back and instead of this i will say gesture detector and gesture detector has on tap function so as you know when you tap on this text it will move and it will run this function which is navigating so if i click on this you can see we are having cool transition from one screen to another screen that's very nice what if i i don't want just text i want card that's a good idea so i will wrap this inside a card widget yeah material has card widget so card having a child child of text mm, but you cannot see properly if you can zoom it out here we have the card but if i give the color to the card so colors like colors dot let's say red and now you can see we have this card but instead of giving red i'm going to make some padding on this text 
so padding is giving and this time it edge inset dot symmetric so symmetric for vertical and vertically i want to have a 10 and horizontally i want to have a 8 padding so you can see now the card is bigger to show that card properly i can use the elevated property and i call it 10 so elevated is like having a shadow behind the card so instead of this hello i can give a country name which is india so i want to have another card so what if i want to have another card and another gesture so i can copy all the gesture part and then you can see we can only give one child hmm so how we can have a multiple card there is a simple task so multiple card means a list of card so yes there's a list widget so as i told you flutter is having all widgets so now i will say list view this is a widget this will hold more than one widgets so i will cut this widget from here and i will paste it here so now if i go you can see it's now having all the spaces because it is a list similarly i can give another one and i can call it canada and yeah we have the canada and the india so this is our task we will get the list of all these countries from this api and we will show all the country name here and much more things in the later episodes so still everything is working if i click here it's india if i click here it's still india we need to move it and whatever uh, card we will click we will have the name of that country at the top bar so we will do these things in the next episode and if you are not following me follow me on twitter facebook instagram and linkedin and don't forget to share these video with your friends and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye